Hello, people of the internet. I am Solrak Dragon, and welcome back to Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep. Then, story. Last we left off, we were in the Mirage Arena. I went ahead and dominated that. You'll see it in the end part of the video when I go through all the reports that I did do all of the available Marina missions. In addition, I've done all the shot locks to maximum potential. And, yeah. It's been a long time because that last Serena mission, Dylan's Victorious, was much harder on as Ven than it was as Terra for some reason. Who knows? Maybe it's because the shot lock command for Ven honestly is not that great. So though, I've got it equipped so that I can show you guys exactly what it does, and you guys will see that when we land in the Keyblade Graveyard. Yep. There's literally nothing else for me to do in the entire Game for Ven story, at least not until New Game Plus mode anyways. So, that leaves only the Keyblade Graveyard left for us to go to. So, without further ado, let us land here. Visit the world. Friends forever. Keyblade Graveyard. And yes, as you can see, I did manage to get the Ultima weapon. Like I said though, it was not a fun get. Dear Lord, Iron and Prisoner 3 and 4 were tougher than nails. Oh boy. Okay. Are there going to be any more cutscenes other than that little initial opening one? Doesn't seem like it. I'm just sort of talking now. Because <laughs> there's really nothing else. There we go. Also, I would like to note that I did... I forgot to show you guys this and I meant to. I did go ahead and purchase all of the um, Mirage Arena ones. I haven't leveled them up yet, nor have I leveled up the Unversed ones. So those are still something I'm going to do probably in my spare time. Anyways, we got a chest here. We'll open it up. We got a couple more in here. Two. Also have a sticker. Probably the last sticker. Yeah. And then there's this chest, which contains Xanort's report number 12. Well, that's going to be another thing that's going to be read at the end slate of this video. So let's just glide along, because you really got to love how fast Ven can fly through this yeah. area. Open says me. Map, obviously. Huh. We knew that was going to be happening. Anything else? No? To the next area we go then. This is the place with a bunch of the twister things, isn't it? Yep. We were here as Terra. In what seems like such a short time ago. And we'll let ourselves get engulfed by the twisters, because getting engulfed by the twisters is the only way to clear the twisters out. And otherwise the twisters are annoyances. Fire! There we go. One twister cleared. Easy peasy lemon squeezies. And we're falling. Aw, it didn't maintain our, um, what's it called? Command style. Now this one's gonna me. Might as well run into the thing. Mega flare for the win! Faith for the final win. Yeah. Clearing out hordes of enemies is so easy between those two commands and Magnega as well. I don't use Magnega as much though, but it is very useful, especially for those friggin' prize pot things. Ugh. Farming those wasn't actually too tough because I knew where they all were, but I was just getting them to spawn that was a bothersome part. Oh, we leveled up. Cool. Fire. Burn. 
Another twister down. Man, I'm just making short work of these things. Okay, fall again. Is that sticking me in? No, it's not sticking me in the same place every time I fall out of the twisters. Good. Wasn't sure on that. Uh, open up this for an elixir. So useless item is useless. Looks like we're not going to be getting a Mega Flare off first things first, so let's lead yeah. to the Mega Nega instead. Yeah. And then follow up with some things. Oh, I also got to show you guys Stratosphere. That's the uh, new one. Pretty much. Yeah. This is all it does. You have to time your button presses right because you're only going to do damage when you land. Yeah. It's not the best ultimate command. I mean, yes, it's a bit of a staller, I guess, for, like, surviving a bit longer, but like Terra's final ultimate command, it's honestly not that great. I'm probably gonna end up switching it up before the final round of bosses. Uh, we got another chest over here and another three twisters. Like, there was not this many twisters when I was here as Terra, was there? I mean, this is gonna be, what, six, seven, eight? that kind of ridiculous amount. Oh well. And flare. Firestorm. Oh. Yeah, but... Might have done Faith a bit soon. Yeah, we probably did Faith a bit soon there. We should have waited for sight of the enemies before using it. We had to actually swing our ultimate weapon at a bunch of giant boots. Ugh. Can you believe it? I mean, that's such a waste of the Ultima weapon's potential, do you think? Hello, Twister. Where are you taking me this time? What kind of enemies am I dealing with, huh? Huh? Anything new? Anything exciting? Fire! No. Not really. That was the quickest one yet, I think, actually. Which is kind of sad, but I mean, enemy clearing abilities, what you gonna do, huh? Alright, let's pick up the other ice cream sticker, I'm pretty sure we know where those are gonna be going. And let's hit up this last twister. And inside of this twister we have, drumroll please, insert drumroll sound if I had one. And even if I did have one, I wouldn't know how to insert it into my videos. Yeah, I really do need to learn more about video editing so that I can do my videos up a little bit better than what they are. I mean, I don't know how many of you have watched the Five Nights at Freddy's video that I did, but there is no face cam because A, I don't have a webcam, and B, I have no idea how the heck I would even incorporate it into my videos. So, yeah. It's kind of sad, but I mean, there's not really much else I can do. This is probably the last of the chests, and then we go through here to the safe area. I'm gonna go ahead and do the reports thing now and see how much time I've got left in all that good jazz, so I'll be right back with y'all. Alright, you guys will see it in the end slate, but I did do the sticker album and I got the rhythm mixer command style. I do think... Do I need to do... No, I don't think I actually need to use it for the whole story sake or my completion sake. I'll probably do that like in my spare time or something. Anyways, I'm gonna save it real quick before we get to the final cutscenes of this whole shebang, so... This episode will probably be end up being split into two parts if the cutscenes are anything to go by with the final battle because as with Terra, um, that ended up going on a lot longer than I expected. This time though, I'm going to be a little bit wiser with it. I'm going to keep track of the amount of time. I've got roughly 10 minutes of footage so far and <clears throat> At around the 25 minute mark, I will, or around 15 minutes after the start of whatever's going on, so long as I'm not in the middle of a battle, I will stop recording, give my little outro, then make that an episode, then continue recording, and make another episode. So, the finale will be split into two parts. Know that much, people. Know that much. And we might end up seeing Aqua's story this week sometime, I'm not sure. Without further ado, though, let's head to the final final confrontation.
on this world. Which is probably Vanitas. Yeah, probably. I was told the master was struck down. <laughs> yes, that's right. I was stupid and helped Sayonor do it. <laughs> the master, he tried to hurt Ven. I only fought because I wanted to protect him. But I was tricked. Xehanort set the whole thing up. Also, he could awaken the darkness inside me. You were right, Aqua. And so was the Master. I did need to be watched. I went astray. But no more. What else is darkness but hate and rage? Xehanort is feeding the dark fires within you, making you fight. You'll go astray again. Tell me, how does that honor our master's memory, Terra? Xehanort wants me and Benitez to fight. And make some kind of keyblade. But the Master said we can't let that happen. And he tried to destroy me for it. Keyblade? I still don't know exactly what it is. But it scares me to death. Even just the thought of it. Relax, man. We're here, and we're gonna take care of you. <laughs> I may have to fight Vanitas after all. If I do, guys, I... I want you to... The three of us can never be torn apart, all right? I'll always find a way. I'm asking you, as a friend. Just... put an end to me. Lifeless keys used to be full of power. United with the hearts of their masters. On this barren soil, keyblades of light and darkness were locked in combat. As a great keyblade war raged, countless keyblade wielders gave up their lives, all in search of one ultimate key. And it will soon belong to me. Keyblade!
Wow. No real difference in that kind of thing, but probably for this one. Sorry about the quiet there for a minute. That's how Aqua lost her helmet. Showing this was awesome. It's so much cooler to be able to actually see it happening in game. I think Mickey just showed up. I think King Mickey just showed up. Are we gonna have Mickey's help? Is Mickey gonna How about cure us? you leave the popsicle with me? So you can go have your little fight with Tara. <laughs> You can't be too happy about him deep sixing your master. <laughs> I thought that was gonna be Vanitas for a, re for a minute. Who are you? <sighs> you think you two have got some grand role to play? We do. As if. You're only here so that when I finish you off, Terra will succumb to the darkness. So, who wants to go <laughs> first? Shut up! Oh, so this kiddo thinks he's a full-fledged Keyblade wielder. He's got the angry look down. Go ahead if you want to waste your time. Keep trying to drive us apart with your mind games. It'll never work. Terra will prove to you he's stronger! Aqua! Well, I guess we know who we fight as Aqua first here. We fight Bray, I think his name was? Or something like that. I cannot remember his name. It was so long ago that I fought him as Terra. Yeah. 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 It looks like we give him I a I keep big forgetting star. don't mess with Keyblade wielders. But you know what? That just means I made the right choice. Well, he wanted me to buy time. And I'd say he got it. What? Uh, Finn! Uh, 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 Aqua! Uh. Oh, no! Uh. Oh, no! Uh. Get away, Vanita. Just get away from her. Come on, Mickey. Come save the day. Could have swore I saw you, man. Help us, Mickey. Or Ven Ventus. Yes, Ventus. Let your will power through. Break through. Come on. Save her. Oh. Goodness. Alright, I think I know who our first battle is, and man, was that a tense build up to the battle. I thought Aqua was, gonna, Aqua was gonna die there. It looks like we gave Break or whatever his name was, an even longer scar than he had before. Who knows, maybe we'll actually knock Benitez's helmet off. We can actually see what's beneath it, because I am kind of curious. I mean, he's made from Ven, so is he just like a dark reflection of Ven underneath that helmet? Like super pale skin, pitch black hair or something? 
Don't you think? I mean, seriously, maximum HP. So, so helpful for us. <sighs> We're getting close to the wrapping up point. Just letting you people know. Probably, if there's another battle, which there probably will be, probably stop the You've recording done at the beginning. It, Ventus. <sighs> now that my body is about to perish. You and I will have to join together. I was somewhat right. Uh -huh. The Keyblade will be forged! Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. The inverse come from you? <laughs> it happened when you and I were split into two. The negativity took shape as these monsters. They are what I feel. A horde of fledgling emotions under my control. I released them in all the worlds I could. Hoping to lure you away from home and isolate you from your master. We <laughs> needed to make you stronger. The unversed were the perfect opponents. And better yet, no matter how many times you defeat them, their negativity flows right back into me. You never stood a chance against us, Ventus. Well, that's uh, certainly an interesting person. Aqua, wait! Don't, don't fly! Go away! Aqua! Back. What's happening to us? What's happening? Tell me that they won. Don't tell me this super keyblade was forged. Please, don't tell me. Mm. I'd really hate to do this to you all, but I'm gonna have to end the recording here for this episode. Yeah, it's probably just a little bit mean to do it here, but I mean, I don't want the episode to be too long. So, I've been Solrak Dragon. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Lord knows that I have. Stay tuned, because next time we're going to finish off Ven's story. It's bound to be an epic conclusion. If you've enjoyed this, leave me some feedback in the form of a like or a comment. If you want to check out more videos from me, then be sure to subscribe to my channel. And outside of all that, I will see you all next time. Have a fantastic day, everybody. Report 12.
The time has come. I have received word from Ericus that his pupils are to become true Keyblade Masters, Terra and Aqua. They will be easy now to lure to, into the outside world, but Ventus, I will get nowhere without him. Venetus can feel some of what, Ven what Ventus feels, and he says Terra is the key. Ventus has loved Terra like a real brother ever since he let him keep his golden wood, old wooden keyblade. It seems we have found a loose thread at which we can tug to unravel Ventus's heart. The first step is to get Terra alone. Then, we need to plant the seeds of doubt in Ventus. Let him carry his faint light, chases his brother into the darkness. Let the darkness make his light stronger, then let the light deepen the darkness. And where the two finally meet is where the stuff of legends will become real.